We have received a request from our subscribers to film how to apply the effect of Marseille wax. That is the decorative plaster with this effect. What does Marseille wax mean? In my understanding, this is such a textured coating with a volumetric pronounced texture, adding effect and some scuffs somewhere. We will be really, really happy to film this application for you. Because this is one of the first methods that I applied with my own hands. But first, I'll tell you a short background. If my memory serves me, it was in 2005, if I remember well. We have been renovating apartments since 2001. In other words, we were working and constantly developing and mastering new knowledge and experience. And one day Roman said to me, I took an order, so you will go to apply decorative plaster. I asked him, how? I don't know what decorative plaster is. I can't, I've never done it. In general, the order was taken, they did not refuse clients. The clients were warned that we would take a cheap payment, because there is no experience. How did we apply it? I can't remember that there were some videos, tutorials in those years, so that somewhere you could learn. I can say that at that moment I applied the plaster of the Optimist trademark, and it was called the Old Castle. We were given such a disc with a bucket of plaster, do you remember these discs? They were inserted into the player. I watched and watched this disc where the guy explained something, but I didn't understand anything what he was saying. How should I do it? What tool is used to apply it? How to hold the tool? How to lead it? I couldn't understand anything. Such was this scant information. Now you will go, for example, on YouTube or somewhere else, and there you will see a bunch of all sorts of options for how to apply plaster. There are bloggers who tell everything in details, there are those who hide some points, but in general it is still understandable. And on that disc nothing was clear, and there was no one to ask. I don't know, maybe there were some lessons, but I didn't find them, or maybe I didn't look for them. But in general, it was the first time I applied decorative plaster. How did I do it? The consumption was supposed to be 1.5 kg per square meter, but I've got such a texture, 3 kg per square meter. But it turned out very nicely, although not from the first time. I was puffing and practicing somewhere on the sample, I hadn't slept the night before, and I eventually applied this plaster. The customers were satisfied, despite the high consumption of material. The texture came out very voluminous. Let's apply this texture now. Let's take a free tablet, and we will apply with you what I applied for the first time. We will apply the same thick layer as it was. Previously, I think it is necessary to cover with quartz primer. Your wall should be plastered. Ideal preparation is not required, but a quartz primer for better adhesion will not hurt to adjust the color. Quartz primer is applied in the same way as paint or primer, with a roller, in the corners, at the top, internal and external corners, with a brush. And the rest of the plane is simply covered with a roller, as you are painting a wall. Quartz primer is a composition that evens out the surface of the wall and creates roughness, due to quartz sand in the composition. As you can see, it also evens out the color of the wall. We will apply white plaster, although the texture will be voluminous, but still, the color alignment will not hurt. While I'm still priming, I'll tell you one more point. In the same order, the walls were plastered with a gypsum mixture. After preparation, we applied decorative plaster Old Castle in white color. We applied it in white color, but let me say I, cause I actually did it, no matter I personally don't like the word I. I applied it very embossed, with a relief, but somewhere in the middle of the wall, from under the white decorative plaster, there was seen a grey dry spot. It was the bottom layer of the plaster, it was visible, but actually we were going to paint it on the top, but the client said, what if it can be painted over? There is grey plaster shining through, what if it can be painted over? I answered that we had a continuous application, there was no unapplied area, we would paint over everything, cover it, nothing would be visible. In general, it seems to me that they have been just joking on me. I was then 24 years old or something, they saw that I had no experience, that I was doing my best, and they just made fun of me in such a way. They tempered the experience. I cut out this area in the middle of the wall and applied a layer of decorative plaster there again in order to make it thicker, invisible, adjusting the drawing. This was my first order. It was very difficult, but it was not in vain, because after this object, they began to take many orders for the application of decorative plaster. And we took those orders, we were not afraid anymore, there was nothing wrong with that. 
Quartz primer dries for about four hours. The exact time depends on the humidity of the room. We need to cover the entire surface and let it dry. So what can I say? Time goes forward, a lot has changed since 2005. How many years have passed, it is difficult to calculate. 16? About 16 years. The materials have changed. The old castle plaster was really bad, just like a cement mix. It was difficult to apply it, especially to a woman's hand. It was a very heavy material. Now the materials are much better. Just look. Province, it is so elastic, it is much better. It nearly asks to be applied on the wall. It was very difficult for me to apply, and now there are materials that are simply impossible to work with, which behave very hard in work, especially if a woman uses them. We use Province white plaster. Apply a layer to cover the surface of the wall, so that everyone can see what we are doing. We apply a layer, I remind you that we are applying the effect of Marseille Works, that was asked by our subscribers. I'm sorry, but I don't remember the names. But there were comments on YouTube. We apply a continuous layer, at least I did it like this. Then we take a little decorative plaster on the troll wheel and lean it against the surface of the wall. And we just do it like this. Like this. We stretch the plaster on the plane. A large volumetric texture. Consumption of 2 kg per square meter, a high consumption. This method of application is muscle wax. That is, the decorative plaster with a volumetric relief, with a pronounced texture. Again, for those who don't know, we apply a continuous layer of decorative plaster. By the way, it's awful that they haven't told about it on those discs. The plaster is applied in small areas, like this. We connect these sections together while it is all damp. If one area is dry, and we will apply the second one being wet, then we will get a layering of plaster. This is not good. We connect it like this. It is applied from the upper left corner, but if it is convenient, then you can also apply it from the right corner. It doesn't actually matter. The main thing is to apply the plaster from the top. It is just more convenient to apply it from the left. We apply the plaster, combine the raw part with the wet one, then we take a little plaster on the troll wheel, lean it against the wall. That is. We lean and pull like this. We stretch the slab of plaster like this. We do not lean against the troll wheel completely. But we do it like this. We only lean against the plaster. The troll wheel remains parallel to the wall and is pulled like this, stretched. This texture is very voluminous, it will have to dry completely. For a whole day. We leave it for a day. Apply it to the entire wall, to the entire area, and leave it to dry. Then we'll continue. This is how I see the Marseille works. So, notice the difference, for example, people say the world map, or Makanka, or Grotta, and I don't see any special difference between these methods of application. Maybe different materials are used, or sports are of different dimensions, but for me, it is still the same application. This one is Marseille Works, and we also call it Vyushka among ourselves. People have asked, and we have shown. We take a small amount of plaster and stretch it. So, what should not be on the sample? There should be no voids. What does a void mean? Here we have the texture. Here is the texture. Also here. But here there is no texture. It shouldn't be like that. And the drawings should be logically located between each other. What do we need to do to understand that the whole drawing looks beautiful? We apply it, step away and look from the side. That is what needs to be done. Step away and look from the distance. All defects are visible from the distance. Ideally, if a person is patient, then there is someone standing behind him and saying, at here, at here. But it is awful like this. Apply and leave it to dry completely. We look from the distance. It seems not bad. 
Now here is a spot I found it. We check if something does not suit us, we fix it while it is damp. Then leave it for a day. We continue the application after the decorative plaster has completely dried. Let me remind you that we are creating the effect of masse wax, a very voluminous texture with the effect of aging. Somewhere there may be scuffs or wax, the color will be brighter in the depth, this is such the effect. A volumetric one. We have applied it and we have little sharp edges. What do we need to do and how to fix it? We cut them with our trowel. We cannot sand it, although if you are used to sanding then sand, but in fact we can cut off the tops with a trowel. It is much faster and much cleaner. If you are sanding, the dust fills all the apartment and this dust will not disappear for a long time. It will fly in the air for a long time. If you use the trowel, then these parts fall on the floor and then you wash them out of vacuum. We apply the decorative plaster province in white color. If you want, then you can tint it. Touch it with your hand and it should not scratch. If it does somewhere, then clean it up. Here, for example. Then we will cover it with tinted wax. What is tinted wax? It is a wax emulsion containing a strengthening agent in its components. We cover with wax, so we give to the sample color and protection at the same time. We will cover it with a sponge. Before it, we should moisten the sponge. Why should we do it? In order to... I guess I repeat the same thing all the time. So that the wax does not penetrate deeply and there is not a large consumption of material. Now we apply tinted wax, we dip the sponge in it and rub it. Here you see, our wax is light. Why did we make it light? Because we already have a lot of dark colors in the department. We really love dark colors, such as gray and different bright colors. There are a lot of them. We cover it around. But that's not all. Wait further. The wax is saturated in the depth of the texture. It will be darker. And on top, we need to widen a little in order to get the aging effect, like old walls. If you want brightness, then you can make the color darker. Of course, there are more than 10,000 colors only in our wood apartment. We have a very large selection of colors. We have covered it, given color and protection. Now we'll look at the texture. If the texture in the depth is covered fully, it's okay. If not, then cover it without voids. Then you can turn the sponge over and remove the tops with the dry part. Make them a little lighter. You can also do it a little differently. But actually, this process is done when the wax is already dried. But we will show it now. We won't wait for a whole day again. We also take the end of the trowel wheel and remove the tops, scraping off the upper part of the texture. So you will lighten these tops. Now I see that I have a defect in my work. I see that some places are not covered. Correcting? It means that somewhere in depth there are some uncovered spots. So here it is, the Masse wax. What else can be done, additionally? Let's show it right away without delay. Also, on the tip of the sponge, but not as thick as we have covered before, the much less amount is needed, a little of dark color. You can put dark wax in the lid of a bucket or any convenient container, put dark wax, spread it thinner and dip it there. And now we will cover the tops of the texture in order to get it even deeper. Additional aging effect. Thus, the sensation of greater volume will appear. That is, even more volume.
It can be any color you like, for example, green, yellow, blue, red, whatever you want. It can also be pearl color, that is, it can be silver, azure, golden, bronze, whatever you want. If you don't like something, we take the dry edge and remove the excess, shade it a little so that there are no obvious boundaries. This is just an option. For brightness, if someone wants a brighter texture. And now shading. If you would like to add, then add. Very small consumption, little is needed, the sponge is dipped once and enough. If you need to remove, then remove. As long as the plaster is damp, you can do whatever you want with it. When you apply the first volumetric layer, while it was raw, you could do anything, change, modify, correct the material, which is very, very walkable. It can be corrected for a long time. It's, how can I call it, it's efficiency. It's efficiency is very, very high. When you have applied the plaster and has dried, then the texture is ready. In this case, it cannot be altered, only if it is altered entirely. And the same thing works for the waxes. Now, if we don't like it, we can wet the sponge and rinse it off, and cover it again until it is completely dry. This is the result we got, I hope you like it, be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. We are working for your subscriptions and for your likes and for positive comments. That's how we walk. Press like and subscribe. See ya!